Hey and welcome back. Today, just a quick tip for you. Let's say you're in a situation where you need to measure a small amount of amperage and all you have is this, an amp clamp. So an amp clamp works really well, but on the low end, it's not very great, especially since this opening here, the, the more centered that the wire is in here is the better the reading at the low end. But anyways, this is a seven and a half thousand ohm resistor which means that the amperage should be roughly uh, one z zero point zero one three 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 repeating should be at least throughout that if I did my math properly so if I turn this on to the amp setting and I change it into DC I'll just hold it away here and zero it and then I put it around this wire you see it's not very accurate 12, 13, 11 not very good but I do have a tip if this is the only thing you you can use to check your amperage is you can actually replace your wire with a much longer one and pass it through the meter multiple times to um, multiply the amount of current that the meter will read so here I have, start here, we'll do, we'll try, try to do about 20 turns, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20 turns of wire. Pop this out like this, and you can do whatever you want with this uh, to hold it together. You can tape it. You can use uh, zip ties. I usually play my games on hard mode, so I'm just going to put it right into the clamp like that. Would be easier if I could use zip ties, but I didn't bring any for this demonstration. So then I'm going to take this wire, one end, put it back into my circuit, and the other end, put it back in my circuit. So now we should be able to get a reading on this multi on this clamp meter, I should say. It's a multimeter, but it is a clamp meter. We should be able to get a reading that'll be 20 times higher than what the our actual amperage is. So in this case, it we should see about 26, 27 uh, milliamps, which is uh, 0 0.001333 repeating uh, times 20. So let's see, I'm going to set this to amps. I'm actually going to turn this off. Put this to DC amps. Zero it. Like that. And then let it fly. And there we go. So we have oh, 26, 27 milliamps. So this little trick can be used for lots of things. I know in the automotive world, you can check parasitic draws. And the parasitic draw is the type of uh, the load on your battery when you turn off your car, which can kill your battery if you don't drive it, you know, for a week or whatever. So it's usually in the range of 20 milliamps. So if you would do this, you would be able to multiply that up to the range that most multimeters are fairly accurate in. Or you can just check these little microscopic little loads like this. 1.3 milliamps isn't very much. So if you only have an amp clamp. You can do it like this. Hope you like that little tip. Thanks for watching.